Hello and welcome to Physics Veda. Today we will start a new topic electric field. Let's see the picture. Here one of the positive charge, let's say it is Q, is placed in the region. It has its own effect around this charge. If I place another charge, let's say it is Q0, it is positive charge. In the region of this Q charge, it means this Q charge applies force on this Q0 charge. Obviously, it is the force of repulsion. If I place this charge at some different location, let's say it is the next location here. This is the first location that is A. This is the second location that is B. Again, on this Q0 charge, this Q charge applies force of repulsion. If I place this Q0 charge at some location, that is it is C location. Again, this Q charge applies a force on this Q0 charge. Here, we can see Q charge applying force on Q0 charge at a different, different location. So it means there is an effect of Q charge on the Q0 charge. It means we can say there is a region of applying force on the charge Q0. This region or this space of the Q charge is called the electric field of this charge. Since we are observing the effect on the Q0 charge, so this Q0 charge act as a test charge. But we are checking the effect of Q charge so that this Q charge act as a source charge. So this is the source charge while this is the test charge. So how can we define the electric field? Electric field is the region around a charge. Let's say that charge is source charge. And if I place any test charge within the region of this source charge, that test charge may experience a force that force may be attractive in nature or may be repulsive in nature. But physics is all about the measurement. We want to quantify that if I place a test charge in the region of the source charge, then how much electric field strength is applied by the source charge on this test charge. So physics is all about the measurement. We want to quantify the strength of electric field. So the next term is the strength of electric field or the intensity of electric field. Let's talk about intensity of electric field. It is also known as the strength of electric field. We can simply say that is electric field. It is denoted by E. How we can calculate the intensity of electric field? First of all, we will define what is the strength of electric field or the intensity of electric field. So the intensity of electric field is the force just due to the source charge reason experienced on a unit positive test charge. So this is known as the intensity of electric field. So let's see if I place a unit test charge, let's say Q0 it is equal to one unit. So since we know that the electrostatic force between the source charge and the test charge, it is equal to F is equal to 1 upon 4 pi epsilon naught charge 1 and charge 2 upon the distance square that is R is the distance between them. The test charge is unit positive test charge. Here, the value of this test charge is 1, then this force becomes 1 upon 4 pi epsilon naught Q upon R square. Now, this force is known as the intensity of electric field. We can also understand in the different way, that is, the force between the test charge and the source charge is 1 upon 4 pi epsilon naught q, q naught upon r square. Now divided by q naught 
on both side what exactly we will get here we will get here that is q naught cancels from numerator and denominator then what will we get 1 upon 4 pi epsilon naught q upon r square so here 1 upon 4 pi epsilon naught q upon r square it is what this is the electric field intensity simply we can say the electric field instead of intensity of electric field so the electric field it is equal to f upon q naught what is it mean it means that is the force on the per unit test charge the force experienced just due to the source charge and experienced on the per unit test charge this is the intensity of electric field so we can say e is equal to f upon q naught this is the formula for the intensity of electric field the intensity of electric field and hence simply the electric field it is the property of source charge e is equal to 1 upon 4 pi epsilon naught q upon r square where this q is the source charge now let's talk about its unit since the electric field it is equal to force upon test charge that is q naught the unit of force is newton and the unit of charge is coulomb its unit is newton per coulomb or newton coulomb inverse force is the vector quantity so the electric field is also vector quantity because of if i place a test charge in the region of the source charge the test charge experience a force in a particular direction and we have already defined that is electric field is the force just due to the source charge applied on the test charge so since force is vector quantity so electric field is also vector quantity since we studied about the continuous charge distribution in the previous lectures in the previous video so due to this continuous charge distribution region we can calculate the electric field since we know that there are three types of charge distribution linear charge distribution denoted by lambda aerial charge distribution denoted by sigma and the volumetric charge distribution and hence the volumetric charge density it is denoted by rho so in terms of lambda sigma and rho we can calculate the electric field intensity due to the distribution of these charges over the length over the sheet or due to the volume so electric field due to the linear charge density it is equal to 1 upon 4 pi epsilon naught if r is the distance so this is r square and in place of the source charge i have to put here integration lambda into dl simply the electric field due to the continuous distribution of charge over the area e is equal to 1 over 1 upon 4 pi epsilon naught integration sigma into da upon r square and also the electric field it is equal to 1 upon 4 pi epsilon naught integration rho into dv upon r square if you want to make uh, in terms of vector quantity simply you have to put a unit vector so this unit vector r cap if i put here the unit vector r cap then i can write the sign arrow on this electric field the unit vector having the unit magnitude but it having the direction thank you so much